This is John Regan from Keyboard Magazine. I'm here in Brooklyn, New York at the Barclays Center right before the John Mayer Show with uh, his keyboardist, the extraordinary Andy Burton. Andy, say hi to your fans at Keyboard Magazine. Hi, keyboard folks. Uh, Andy's going to give us an uh, exclusive video tour of his rig, tell, tell us uh, what he's using, how he's using it, and uh, Andy, take it away. Show us what you're playing on this tour. All right, well, first we got to start with the Beast. The Hammond B3, this is a 1960s model. Um, and it's basically a stock B3. It's got the two preamp and it's got a reverb unit here. And uh, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a regular uh, reverb tank. And Leslie control is right here, it's a regular foot switch, although I can override it with the, the, he with the uh, standard rocker switch. And um, that's pretty much it. We've got a Leslie backstage that's uh, enclosed in a road case and mic'd inside the road case, so yeah. no stage volume. It's pretty much, for me, it's pretty much the perfect B3. Anything done to it, tweak to it to make it sound a particular way? Well, uh, you, any particulars, you probably have to ask Ken Rich in LA. He did a fantastic job. The keys are super smooth, is all I can say. The action is great. Um, it's not too bright, I would say. Uh, it's got plenty of uh, walls, but also can be real smooth sounding when you need it to be. So that's the first thing I want to say, and I, I play this as much as I can. I love this beast. Um, for, for This is my kind of go-to, the Nord Stage 276. This handles Rhodes, Wurlitzer, Clavinet, Mellotron sounds, synth sounds. That's it's pretty much my go-to uh, for anything that I can do with left hand while I'm playing right B3. Um, I use this. Uh, I, I pretty much it's pretty much stock samples, but I've got all kinds of nice little tweaked delays and uh, and tremolos and phasers. I've got a real great uh, Richard T kind of uh, phaser road sound that I use on a few things, which I love. And the great whirly, great tremolo. Um, that's pretty much the deal here. Uh, then we've got. The fake piano. Nobody will know unless no we tell them. No one will ever know. It looks like an upright piano, That's but right. it's a it's a Nord Stage 288. Nice. Um, I've got many of the same programs that I have on the 76, um, but I would say what I mostly use it for is to control Ivory, which is being run over here in this thing. It looks like a 1990s computer. Yeah, setup. I felt like I was in a law firm for a, a law. It's a. Yeah. It's, this is my. Yeah. It's. it's you know, for anybody who works a day job, this That's may right. look familiar, or once worked one. Uh, yeah, so this is basically the control setup for two receptor quattros, which are the current top-of-the-line model receptors. And basically what I use them for is running lots and lots of piano. I've got a Pazioli uh, grand piano, I've got the Steinway, and I've got an upright piano. And I just, it switches right here, you can see them be switching around from a Steinway to an upright to a Fazioli, etc. And you're using different pianos on different songs. Different pianos on different songs. Yeah. And occasionally they get layered and split with some sounds from the Nord. Uh, mo mostly string Mellotrons. I only use kind of Mellotron Chamberlain strings for the most part because they just uh, they just have more of a vibe to them than than the string samples that we normally use in Hero every day. And um, it's a pretty streamlined setup: three keyboards and and some soft synths. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, that's what you got, and and it's exactly what the doctor ordered for John Mayer. Yeah, uh, you know, I know with Bruce Springsteen, he's got a couple uh, electros right. on the stage in case the Hammond goes down. Any? Have you ever had an issue where your your B three went down, or did you you guys keep it well oiled at all times? Well, you know, there was one time when something started to happen on the stage, and our wonderful tech Alex Alvarez. Alex Alvarez. Superstar tech to Lenny Kravitz and many others. Um, he fixed it by the next song. So I don't even think I lost half a song's worth of downtime. So I've never had to use an organ patch in a Nord on stage with John Mayer. So Congratulations, Alex Alvarez. It's right there at the ready if I ever need to, but it, it's, a, it's, 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 it's an insurance policy. That's right. Did, did you pick this rig or did you step into the gig and sort of use some stuff that was already here? I mean, how did you decide on this rig for this tour? Um, well, I was already working with Nord, and but the, John had already been familiar with Nords from previous keyboard players. Yeah. I mean, these happened to be my Nords. Yeah. 
Um, I brought them to the gig. I also brought a receptor to the gig, but they've since replicated. I think they have, John bought five of them yeah. since then and bought a bunch of receptors too. So we've kind of duplicated what I brought to the rig originally and improved on it. Like the, I didn't have the latest receptor, but now I'm running uh, two quattros, which is really great. Yeah, anything in the uh, near future that you plan on acquiring or adding to the gig, maybe a, a Moog modular, Moog modular system for Oh the, yeah, uh, a Moog modular, uh, four or five Mellotron that's right. real ones. No. Um, well, I would really like to incorporate um, some kind of electric piano maybe at some point. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, yeah. but if it does, it would be wonderful. Uh, whether it would be a, 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 you know, a, a Wurlitzer or maybe another, maybe a vintage vibe, you yeah. never know. We'll see. Terrific. Well, uh, we appreciate getting a chance to spend uh, a few minutes in this large uh, arena before the throngs of fans come in. Throngs. And uh, we're looking playing. forward to uh, following you as the tour continues. Thanks a ton, Andy. Appreciate it. All the best.